Uh, there are several ways to generate content. One is leaving anyone the possibility to comment and to review hotels or businesses or whatever. Or we can use different ways. One, one new way is the one used by Rob Palladino uh, for Hoister. Uh, and I think Rob is a typical example of what this world is. A good and wide experience in different fields with strong feeling for tourists and some new ideas, creativity, the tools to, uh, to use this creativity and a new creature. Rob? Bonjour, good morning. Uh, Oyster, I, I thought I'd take a moment with my slides to make certain that everyone uh, who hasn't had the chance to, to be familiar with the site understands how it is different. Uh, I won't need that many minutes because we're really relatively new. After 18 months of visiting hotels in North America, uh, we published our first 500 reviews in June of 2009. So we're still a very new site. And imagine our our pleasure and the honor to get the invitation to BTO so shortly after we were published. It was really very impressive. This is uh, the home page of the site, and it's really where we tell you exactly what we're about. This is so that leisure travelers can see their hotel with hundreds of photos per hotel. And these are undoctored, unphotoshopped photos, but quite professionally taken. Uh, and a 2,000-word review by professional journalists. Okay. There we go. Now, where it all started, and I, I was introduced as having a diverse background, is that we did not set out to have a media site, uh, an Internet site for hotel reviews, Instead, a couple of the founders had an unfortunate stay in Alaska in 2007. They went online and searched for the best place and the best reviews, and they, I'm sure they found TripAdvisor, and they found other places to look and see how people referred to the hotel, including the hotel's own website. But when they checked in, they realized that the photos were many years old, uh, the facility was not what it was billed to be, and the reviews were rather bogus. So 18 months later and a $10 million capital raise, we've now reviewed thousands of hotels, at least are, are in edit. Um, hundreds of thousands of photographs are in 11 different sizes on 20 servers. And uh, 500 plus hotel reviews are now available on the site. Now, the best way to explain, too, is that our reporters are employees, and they're dispatched to leisure destinations of our choosing um, without any notice to any of the hoteliers. Uh, we pay our reporters' stay. Uh, we're unannounced, although we will introduce ourselves before we depart on the, the second day of our stay. Um, folks like to ask us if we're revealing dirty little secrets. That's not our goal. We've started with the best leisure destinations in North America and the best hotels in those destinations and resorts. So you can't imagine we're finding anything really that isn't flattering. But if we do, we expose it because that's what the users of the site are expecting us to do. Can I skip one? Yeah. Let's see. Why am I having trouble with this? Okay, sorry. We'd like to leave you with the thought or tell you that, that a comprehensive review is our goal, something that users can trust and something they'll find has been professionally produced. Then when they come onto the site, users are permitted to search with great with different values and different properties so that they can find precisely the hotel or resort they desire. For example, 
you can come into the site and pick your destination at the top banner, or you can use the hotel themes at the upper corner and look just for hotels that are kid-friendly or just for value hotels or romantic hotels, or you can find our search pages and select all the amenities that are important to you. We'll watch as users come onto the site looking for a kid-friendly re hotel resort in an island with a swim-up bar, those kinds of options. This also is very important because with so many s photos on the site and so m many uh, words written about the hotels, users feel they've previewed the hotel completely before they buy, and we know how high involvement the hotel purchase can be. Folks ask a lot about how we rate hotels. We do use pearls rather than stars or um, any other method. And uh, the pearls are not the reporter's personal opinion. Rather, because travelers are different, we make sure we view the hotel the way the ideal traveler for that hotel would view it. And then with objective views of the hotel, we select based on the quality of the amenities and the quality of the rooms and the services available uh, exactly what the pearl rating should be. We're asked how we're different from online travel agents. Well, we're not selling hotels. We're simply evaluating hotels. There is a price and availability widget on the site which will permit anyone interested in seeing the availability of a hotel and the price of the rooms on a given date. We will then uh, send the user to either an Expedia or a Hotels.com or the hotel's own website after we've worked out the back office. How are we different from TripAdvisor? Well, one Oyster reporter can review hundreds of properties. But as opposed to user-generated content, where hundreds of users make opinions on one property. It's not an either-or. It's complementary is how we see it. People do spend a lot of time on the site, which is probably because of the photos. So there's many page views per user, and there's many minutes per user. They find a hotel they want to buy, and they go in very deep. Uh, I'll leave you with this. The press and uh, the travel community has received this rather warmly. Um, Joe Sharkey wrote rather early in our, in our history that uh, we were uh, an idea that was useful. Uh, I'd say Arthur Frommer on his blog was the one that made it sound like it was going to be something with TripAdvisor. It's really not. Uh, the fact is having professional journalism is one way uh, travel users and travelers can rely on, on quality data in making an important choice, what hotel they stay when on holiday. Thank you for listening. Thanks, Rob. Uh, it's wonderful. We're trying to get online quest real-time questions um, by Twitter and so on. And it's always funny to see how people can't resist to tell the world they exist, which is fine, but we would like to see questions, not the fact that you are there. So try to ask uh, real questions and not just saying that we are online and so on. We know. Uh, uh, I, I would ask Michele to quickly close the first round, and then I am accumulating ideas and questions. I, I, I need to play the bad boy today. You know. <laughs>